welcome to the Bop, the Blurred Official Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Karen Ashley. I We are so happy you are here. You are safe. I mean, this world has been crazy. We've had eclipse. We've had earthquakes. We've had everything <laughs> happening. Oh, guys, how are we doing? Hilton George, how are you? How is life? Did you survive got Puerto no- Rico? I, Did you survive I, Puerto Rico? I barely, <laughs> I barely survived Puerto Rico. I don't know if you've no. ever been, but I went to this place called the Pork Highway, and yes. it is a whole. It's up in the mountains. Your ears start okay. popping when you go up there, and I mean, they just. You saw the pictures I sent. They got like just pigs on spits and rice and, and plantains and all the food. I was like, listen, I, look, I was oh, trying to wait a whole pig while you was there, didn't you? Just, I, didn't was, you? I was trying to, I was <laughs> trying to, but, they, but I had, they made me get up. <laughs> They're like, like, you must go. You had your fair you share. Get, you got your one plate, sir. <laughs> one sir. piglet, one piglet, get... piglet per person. Uh-uh, <laughs> not... piglet, one piglet. Oh my god! <laughs> awful. Yeah, looking like Farmer Hoggett with grease on his lips. Like, uh, yes, uh, yes. But we're going. We're going back though. The, the Puerto Rico Comic Con. We'll see the bop. I'm. I'm working. Yes, I'm, I'm manifest that. Work That's got to it. Work. Got well, to I've got it. my passport ready. I am. My bag is packed. I'm you don't ready. Number the driver's license. That's, That's a state, it, girl. right? Because that's, that's, that's right. We in America. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, yes, yes. Okay, Christy Renee, how you doing? How you? You coming to Puerto Rico or what? I'm, I, look, I'm already there. I'm. I'm. I'm yes. already traveling. So I might as well. I'm close by. I'm yes. down in Dallas, Texas. So I might yes. as well make my way. Look Make at way on down. I like I'm ready. Friend Christy. I like your new friend. <laughs> What's her name? Girl, we ain't even named her yet. Anastasia. I don't, she, she, <laughs> uh, Anastasia that's, that's actually a good one. I like Anastasia. There you go. She, I, she, she looks like though. Anastasia. She, she tired. tired today. She tired today. So we're going we to we take too much to, of your time, y'all. Uh, you know, I need mm. her to look alive when she comes on the bop. When yeah. she makes her appearance, her grand appearance on the bop, I need her to look alive. The bangs <laughs> is banging. As long as the bangs are still banging, we, we good. Yeah. Bang. Bang. They're all black women now. When they go to Texas, they go do the Beyonce thing. Yeah. It's going to be in everybody's voice. Texas holds them. We hold them all. Forever. Changing the game. Changing the game. Baby back, baby back, baby back, bangs. That part. That's it. That's it. When she got when when your when your bangs. I've been canceled by Hilton. Oh my God. When you when your bangs got a whole song to themselves, got sound effects. Baby back, baby back, bangs. I gotta work on it. I gotta work on it. I'll have it tight. it. Yeah, it a little bit. This is what I deal with in person, y'all. This, like, uh, this right here, this right here, <laughs> it's right here. This, this is, is it. This is it. I can All the time. Out of it. Here, here, go, All guys. Time. Oh my God, we had an earthquake in New Jersey, and the world was acting like the world was over. It was. <laughs> People were doing memes, and they would be like, "My earthquake damage," and their phone had dropped. <laughs> like, yes. Report damage, and it'd be like one pin is out of place. <laughs> yeah. Long furniture just on one side. Yeah, you know, a spilt drink. There's the damage. There it <laughs> is. You should got knocked damage. over. Uh-huh. <laughs> you should got knocked over. Never forget. <laughs> Never, Never forget. forget. Oh my god! All of us in California were ones. laughing. Oh, but I'm you know sure. what? They're creepy though. They're super creepy. And it was a 4.8. Yeah. So it was definitely something you felt. It wasn't like you know you were like what the what the and it lasted for like a minute. So. They're real creepy That's because nice there's nowhere see. you can go. Like, you can't, like, run outside. You can't, like, hide under a, a bed. You can't, you know, nope. all the things you would do in, like, in a tornado or any other natural disaster, you can't do in an earthquake. So I know it kind of weirded people out. And then there was a series of aftershocks. Did you feel it in D.C.? Because, I mean, they said it went all the way down to Philly. And, like, I didn't know if it made it to you. I, I didn't feel nothing. I saw it on the news and I was like, oh, okay, you know. And when I saw where the epicenter was, I was like, oh, that's why ain't nobody see it. Because it was because <laughs> it was in that little little, it was like a little little, butt little crack of uh, right. <laughs> now the, the the places like Cherry Hill and Philly and New York, you know, those population zones felt it. 
but like where the full blown epicenter. Yeah. It was like, you know, 14 people that were like right there. <laughs> and so, you know, I was like, oh, that's where, that's why, you know, like yeah. the buildings fell over. Ain't no buildings over two stories that where they at. Like that's. Right. That's right. Little, it's just Al-Qaeda fun. couldn't even find clean and enough in Paramus, New Jersey. Oh but my, point is, my gosh, Hilton. My, my Go. point is. Turn go to your corner. <laughs> my point, my point is canceled. that yes, we don't yeah, get like, we don't get we don't get uh, uh we don't get earthquakes here. So any any shaking <sighs> is is earth shattering for us. Yes, I know y'all in California get like full blown. Yes. Like, Spill your Rice Krispies, you know, yeah. stuff going on over there. Yeah, That's wake you up world. out your sleep sometimes. I've had that mm. happen. Woke me up out of my sleep. Chrissy, mm. you weren't in New York. I mean, you no. live there and you no. have left. You're and supposed like, to be reporting live. I mean, you're supposed left. to be live on the scene. It's Christy yeah. Renee for the box. <laughs> That's what you were supposed to be doing. <laughs> Child, listen, I, I woke up the next day, you know, I, I got here and then the next day is when it happened the next morning. And I'm like immediately, well, first, it's crazy when the first thing you see are the memes, right? So I'm yes. like, wait, what happened? So I naturally go and Google, you yeah. know, uh, to- earthquake, earthquake. And it was like, okay, trusted sources, there it is. I call uh, my child who is yeah. still there. Kevin is there <laughs> with Sebastian. Look, I forgot. And look, I forgot my oldest child is right. also there. I forgot but- about the boy, just the girl. <laughs> See, she got favorites. Girl. I just- <laughs> she has favorites. It's, it's, it's now documented on the BOP. It just your, depends your on what kids, day it y'all is. Y'all can get in touch with us. We will send aid. <laughs> send, send thoughts and prayers. Yes. Thoughts and prayers they, uh, you boys. The two she boys. was like, I thought it was the construction across the street. I was like, well, what kind of construct? They just building a house. It can't like move <laughs> all the ground. She was like, yeah, I just didn't realize it. But yes, I felt something significant. Uh, she was like, I was reading. I was just wow. in my zone with my headphones on, not, and I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Same way, okay. She, same way she was with, you know, everything else on yesterday. With See, it's sun. different right. on the East Coast. I've been in one earthquake in Maryland. This was like 10 years ago. And yes. it was the, the, it was the, the plates were rubbing up against one another. So it was right. like this vibration, but I know you guys in California, I've actually been in small quakes with y'all. Yeah. It's different. It's like a swaying. It's like yeah. you feel like somebody's like doing you this. See stuff yeah. Moving. yeah. And that's oh. that's the scary stuff. Cause you're yeah. Like, oh, wait a minute. Like we've got I'm shelves, we've got right. shelves like drilled into the wall because it will sway, you know. <laughs> I, I just feel like All the over. ground, the ground should never move. Like remember the right. scene from Fresh Prince of Bel Air when there was an earthquake and they got stuck in that rock. I am him. The ground ain't supposed to move right. at all. Like that's Ever. the only stable thing. You said it when we opened up. Like it's so crazy to know you can't go anywhere unless you jump Nothing. on a hoverboard and you can just hover above Fly. the madness. <laughs> yeah, but we can't do that. Mm-hmm. You can't escape it. You can't go anywhere. That's the yeah. that's literally the rock <laughs> that yeah. we stand upon, and that's the creepy yeah. part, you know. It's but yeah, scary. so. Thankfully, it was nothing major. Um, I, I just need to know, did you guys even watch the eclipse yesterday? I mean, was I the only I person it. who could care less? I was literally in the airport and like these women were like, let's run to the window and see. And I was like, I don't want to lose my seat. <laughs> I just was like, I was, I was in the American Airlines lounge and I did not want to lose my seat because I had a plug, right? You know, I was like set up. Um. Yeah. No, I don't care. Mm-mm. Like people were going yeah. all out. Pe- like people, I know people. Like I know people. Educated, very like like they like plant. Like they bought plane tickets mm-hmm. and hotels and went somewhere to see it. So mm-hmm. it was shocking to me that anyone would plan a vacation around this. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I'm I in Dallas, and they yeah. said a million people have shown up just for like it. Just it. Because Dallas was one of those four positioned cities, yeah. I guess, in the U.S. that you could catch uh, uh, the best, you know, optics. And is that I, why you went there, Christy? The, is that why? That is. Yeah, her, you just can't be honest. Rice, she had a Rice Krispie yeah. box. <laughs> I did. I did. I got glasses and your, everything. Is that why your eye look like it's a little burnt? A little bit. <laughs> a little how, many, up. how many fingers am I holding up? Jackie? How many fingers? <laughs> Follow my this finger, minute. but don't move your head. Follow my finger. Like the middle one. <laughs> this the one. Middle That's one. all oh, I see. I know. <laughs> Hilton already messed up the show at the top of the hour, so I whatever. Know. I ain't even. I, I'm going no lower. 
Uh, so it can't, can't, right. it really can't we go no lower. lower. Don't challenge him. It could it could go lower, but we won't. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying, <laughs> right. all I'm saying is yes. I wasn't interested in watching the sun do blackface for five minutes. <gasps> oh, um, oh, God. I'll let Billy D. Williams handle that. Oh, and, Billy uh, Throw the towel in. I'm just throwing the towel oh. in. I don't want no parts. Yes. Guys. I didn't want to see. I don't want no parts. Guys, like, did you the hear about the quote? Express. Did you hear about Billy D. yesterday and his whole, like, he doesn't care if actors do blackface and he was just, like, it, people what? should be able to do what they want to do. I'm just like. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. I'm sorry. Please yes. start from the beginning. This happened, I, like, two hours tell ago. Me, you didn't. Yeah. I have no. Yeah. Well, he was getting interviewed somewhere and they asked somehow it came up in the conversation and he basically tried to justify white actors doing blackface. And he was like, when they did Laurence Olivier and blah, 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 or something like he brought up something really old and was like, that was a work of art. And I don't care. It's funny and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like. But I think, I mean, he's old, guys. Like, I mean, he's like near 80. Like, maybe he's losing it. Maybe he's, I'm just going to chalk it up to old age. Because I just can't imagine Billy D and, like, the barriers he had to break as a black man, black actor. Like, they, he was doing movies. He was acclaimed by the culture, the community. And, and now you're telling, like, come on, Billy D. We need you to just. Somewhere there's a misquote. Yes. It's got to, somebody misquote. No, a, it wasn't a, a misquote. No, it was him. Like it, it was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, listen, he said it. Listen, oh, Quincy my. Jones got his daughter right off camera for every interview because when you get in your 80s, your filter starts to fade away. And you start telling people business, you start saying crazy out of left field stuff. And if you watch the last two specials on Billy on 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 uh Quincy Jones. Oh yeah he was you'll going. see how <laughs> how he was like I'm like yo you ain't supposed to be talking about people like that yo chill he didn't so care this yeah is, this is the what? same thing with Billy D I Give think Billy D's go. filter I mean <laughs> I, I feel like he said what was on his heart at that very moment. Yeah. Right. Without Absent a care. In all the world. of the stuff that, that, you know, he's like, well, you asking me this question. I don't care. This is how I feel at the moment. And maybe was not in that mental position to just yeah. step back and look at the big picture on something you sprung on him. Like, you know, if he had had like the questions in advance and could run it by his people, you know, he might have had a different <laughs> answer. But I think he, I, I think, think he was right. just, I, look, we all got that 80 year old. I, listen, I think about you myself got somebody. Even. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got people like, in that age group, they don't care. They're like, you know, and, and oh, you know what's sad? Don't. I think they are like, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's at an age where he's tired of fighting. Like, he's just like, or maybe he never really cared. Maybe he never wanted to be that actor that was like, he just wanted to be an actor and he just got some cool roles and he wasn't trying to change the world. He was just trying to, like, I don't know. But yeah, it was, and there, it and was those disappointing. Exist, yeah, it was disappointing to hear from someone like him who's, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to be I don't like, think it's no. indicative of who he is. I think he said something unfortunate that people yeah. who don't know his body of work, particularly young people under 30, 35, mm -hmm. you know, they might decide to go off on him because they're not really that aware of his resume yeah. and who he is. But I, I don't know that that's like where he is in his I heart. Know. I feel like mm -hmm. he in that moment, you know, like I said, I got 80 year old people. I don't spring nothing on. Yeah, I was I like, get a, I might get an F you. I was like the Stranger is, Things kids going, Lando, it's Lando. He's turning on us. He can't be trusted. Lando can be trusted. Remember Stranger Things? When they were like, this new hopper was going to turn on him. That's why I was like, Billy D done turned into Lando for real. Lord. <laughs> uh, I know. That's I know. Crazy. Deep sigh. Deep sigh. Oh, another deep headline. Sigh. I know, deep sigh. Another headline uh, making thing was, you know, our boy, uh, we've reported on this before, Jonathan Majors. You guys know he had mm. his whole court trial. He was found guilty. What's um, new, Lord? I know. Well, he was sentenced, the, the, you know, he was sentenced to probation and no prison time. And he's going to do uh, therapy for a year. Like, you know, mm. and so, which I think that was fitting Good. for the crime. Like, a lot of people. Yeah. Um, were outraged in some comments and stuff, but I was like, he wasn't accused of like first degree assault. Like he didn't do that. Like I think people mm -hmm. just see like you know how the headlines are. They're like he's yeah convicted of assault. Violence. They don't say like the the actual thing. Like he was convicted of the type of assault that could happen if you had an accident. And he, you mm -hmm. know, she, you know, obviously <laughs> got some sort of 
something happened to her when they had their altercation. So whether they never said he hit her, did anything to her, but something happened. So I thought that's fitting. And I think it's yeah. like one of those things like where it's like, you know, he's going to domestic violence programming. So it's like, that might be something that could be good for him. Anger management might be a good thing for this because he obviously has some like some things like he's yeah. highly, highly, you know, excitable. A lot of people have com complained about Un him. Unhealed. Unhealed. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, I'm all for it. I was actually like so happy they didn't like try to make a, you know, uh, an example out of him for a crime that was very low level. Um, not excusing it. I'm just saying, you know, this is what it in was. The and and the, the, the time fit the crime. Why? Right? Like it was like, it all made sense. So this I'm all brothers for paid the price in any calculation. I mean, oh. yeah, I think this brother's whole career has been stripped from. He Done, is yeah. the most toxic hot potato name in Hollywood. Persona non grata for, for real Done. coming from the highest height. you can, <laughs> And I mean, not even like contextually speaking outside of right. context, this brother two years ago was teed up at the highest height you could put an actor in, mm -hmm. in, in career to this. Yeah. You're like, okay, what, I mean, a year in prison, what, what, what's that going to do? You know, that hasn't yeah. already been done. This brother's pockets been hit yeah. his career, his name, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you're right. I was actually, I was happy because if it had not been mandated, we might not, he might not have done it. Right. right? Now my question is, is now that he, he done slid by and not gotten no prison time and it's gotten right. the outcome that he's hoped for from <clears> PR <throat> perspective, he's where he need to be when they breaking up. Oh, look, look, is he composing the text message now? I don't know. You're yeah, because like, that relationship this has been mm. wonderful. I know. However, I know. However, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, this is, this is the thing. You, it me. was so convenient, right? It was so PR friendly that we ha all we all should question it. I would, I, I would, I would question myself if it was something like that, right? Like. It was just too convenient. So, I mean, I don't know. She, she like, just last week, she was commented as saying that she was the happiest she's ever been. She felt the best. She was in the best shape. She just was in love and, oh, yeah, yeah. So, I hope for her sake, yeah. it's real, real, real. And he's not, like, that wasn't um, his Look black, Look right, face. that wasn't the black I'm woman just sitting here. hired this to This is a digital media, but hump. you can smell something. She looked at her face. I'm just sitting here. I'm I'm really I want to know what that face. Here. I want to know what that scrunchy face means. <laughs> She's translating. Much. Probably because my wig is in my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, she oh, yeah, you're going to put, put it on Anastasia. Oh, Anastasia, oh, Anastasia is the blood. Is, <laughs> yeah, She's this my bangs, girl. This is my bangs. This is not my bye, 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 bye. Now y'all know how much I love me some Jonathan Majors, and I'm hope I'm rooting for yes. him in hopes that he gets all the help he you know needs and deserves. Um, I don't know, I, and I hope what he and Megan are having is is there something authentic and, and genuine with it? I know I sure would hate to see. I, I want to be wrong be a, too. I want to be. I wrong. Really, I really, I do. I want you to be wrong. I want you to be right. wrong more but than I ever want wanted wrong. anything. <laughs> I do a lot of times. A lot of times. <laughs> this particular moment. <laughs> There's a sincerity and love in our hearts. There is a love in our hearts, guys. There <laughs> is. It is. It's such a love. That's how we can be so crazy. Yeah. Because really... she's been dragged for standing next, like just for yeah. just propping well, him she... up. You know, so, it, you know, we yeah. it's something about us. Like, again, there's always Ooh. a larger conversation to be had when mm -hmm. it comes to things like this. And it is very difficult because I I'm a known gatekeeper at times. Like I just feel like things that we created, you know, culturally should be, we, we can't be cheering everybody on because they can do, you know, the, the bank head bounce or some shit. You know what I mean? We just get, right. we get way too excitable over things sometimes. And I'm like, whoa, this is one of those in relationships and mm -hmm. in this story, because we've seen when it's most commonly, when, when an actor or an entertainer of uh, melanated uh, culture gets into trouble, Yes, it is typically at the and it's and it's over publicized mm -hmm. and overly judged. Mm -hmm. uh, it is that 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 counterpart is on the flip side of the melanated culture. Does anybody yes. follow? Is anybody I, picking I'm, up I, what I'm putting? So, I am. So. 
I am <laughs> right there. It's so fat. Jeez, oh, I'm understanding no, the words is coming out your mouth. Oh my face, honey! <laughs> Listen, I just think this. I hope for his yes. sake that they are having something really real and genuine, yeah. and he is learning the how to compare and contrast his experiences with people in that dynamic. And yes. what that means, what it looks like, what it looks like when it's good and happy and fruitful and plenty and what it yeah. looks like when it ain't, you know, on, yeah. the flip, on the dark side of that and just be able to see, right. you know, because if they have a falling out, I can't imagine it going to a certain extent um, <laughs> because that's not the... Anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Yeah, no, I mean, I've, is, I've met Megan and she's lovely. So I pray that I, we, she, and this, all of this, yeah. all of this is out of love for Megan. Like, we, yes, we start with like love protect with Megan, her at all costs. We, kinda, we all, like, we know, we know <laughs> Jonathan's yes, going to be okay with, yes. with Jonathan. It's Megan that we're like, okay, please don't be the step for wife yes. in this, in this scenario. Right. And what I had said, half joking, but I'm, you know, I'm still kind of only half joking. Is mm -hmm. that the, it would have been really even more authentic if he had got with like an ugly woman? I feel like people would have been <laughs> like, "Okay, that's real love." She she had his back, like somebody who was maybe in his circle, like his stylist, a oh makeup artist, or something. <laughs> you know, but, but maybe, maybe I know. Is like the like one of the top five mm -hmm. baddest sisters, right? To like ever cross the screen in the last twenty woman. years, right? No question. So we so we all automatically are kind of like, uh oh. You know, we're already on our heels right. and kind of like, wait a minute now, don't mess this up. Now, this this is the making good. Like, yeah. You can't, you know. So I think that's where we're coming from because yeah. we, we care about her. Yes. And we're not sure what's going on with him. Right. You know, everybody here got a cousin or a sister or an auntie or somebody to bring somebody home. And you're kind of like, mm, and they were both in like, vulnerable positions. Cause I mean, remember like she, she just had got just divorced, gotten divorced yep. and mm -hmm. he just went through hell and back and it, it was trauma just, bond. yeah. And it's one of those things where you just hope that they, you know, and she's talked about, you know, where she is and what she's doing in her life. And so I really hope that that's what, what it is. Cause it seems like she's really trying to heal and move on and and you know and she's very supportive of him she's only said mm. wonderful things and 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 i mean you really like he's going through hell and she's like literally going with him to the courthouse every day you know so that's something you know and yeah. and any backlash that she received she didn't deserve i mean you want somebody no. to support you yeah. right you want somebody who's gonna ride with you and she did so we just hope you know yeah we just hope it's all good, but yeah. But let's just let's just let's hope that part of the therapy is well, where going to therapy. learn how to he learn how to fix his face when he hugging him on his way. <laughs> his, his face ain't all it ain't quite where it should be. He looks really sad. Her, you know, like, like he looks just down every time I've like, seen him. You should mm. be like this, making good, and she always mm. looks like a ten, and she's right here, and he kind of got that. My mama made me come to the prom with her look on his face. Oh, and you're kind of no. like, Jonathan, come on, brother. Oh, yeah, no. Look to your right. Look just to your right. She's we right gotta there. We got to get some like, references. We got to find. Know. Next time, you got to mm -hmm. present some evidence, some discovery right. in that argument. Oh, I, I got to see that. <laughs> you see, look, I want to see it on this put, show. Put the pictures of, of his face when, when they we take gonna, pictures. We're going to take a deep dive yes, into this. Let me find some not, pictures. It's just, you know. <laughs> You kind of like, oh like he's like this, like, hug, you, like you need to be happier for that. Brother. Yeah, you I just think that. he's unhappy in his life. Like it's yeah, almost it like it. I'm over here with my lotion. Face. I like okay. start talking my lotion. <laughs> like, Look, if you're gonna call the brother Ashy, just say it. You ain't gotta be <laughs> symbolic with it. I just think yo, I don't even know where that came from. But anyway, I think he's just like it's like almost like. He's never been like the smiley guy. Like he's never been that dude. But he just, I mean, this has been heavy. And it's like heavy, heavy. So I, I think a lot of that has to do with that. I, I would I would I imagine. Hope. And they yeah. already call him, you know, they already call him uh civil rights fine. So, you know, just think about the era in which his <laughs> his fine comes from. Choking. It canceled you, it's, you got canceled. You got canceled. He he just has a strained face. His his what? emotions are are strained. Yeah. Maybe that's all it is. Well, that it's intensity just, that we loved on screen was really like for real. <laughs> that brother was angry. Oh, but on yeah. to bigger, better, 
lighter <laughs> things. Um, our assignment was to watch the latest oh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And we all went Hilton, you know, he's it it in. he's got a whole baby, guys. Like this puppy is a whole baby. Like he he had to like get a sitter just to go to the theater. <laughs> like this is, like Hilton, it's I am strange. proud of you. You have really um, taken this on. I, I you am, know, I've become yeah. such a dog dad. I had to stop yes. myself. I was thinking like do they have movie theaters for dogs? And I'm like, oh my God. No, it's like you, the, the you one thing no on dog him. can do is sit through a movie. And I'm sitting yeah. there thinking, like, no, that's shut up. That's the, yeah. I got to get the dog to somebody who can feed it. So and take can it out, she, you know? she can't be at home, like, at all. Like, she's still Listen. at that stage. Well, okay. All right. So, like, what's the, what's, I got, I, you look, you're the second person to burn me about that this today. Because I'm like, oh, I'm going to let the dog. I'm coming. I ain't even, I'm just revving up. Because I'm about to. Tackle this. Yes, okay. Yes. All right. So down, I don't. Chris. I don't know if anybody out there in 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 Bopland is a dog owner. And I'm talking not like a dog that you inherited, but like a dog you've had since nine weeks, and you're like the only human that's ever fed him that kind of thing. But that's what I got. And my dog, my dog, is in love with me. My dog mm -hmm. goes to sleep looking at me like this. You know, that kind of thing, like really <laughs> like creepy stalker love. If it wasn't a dog or a human, you'd be like, it, we need you? to chill. It's everything you've thing. ever wanted and needed, isn't so, it? So, yes, she is, <laughs> she is totally fine being crated. She's totally crate trained. I've got a fenced in yard, a uh, whole nine yards. But okay. the problem is, is that, you know, I'm going to be gone for four hours. And as that's going to overlap a meal she's going to miss. That's going to overlap. How much does this dog eat? Overlap a meal. Three, three times a day. She's growing two pounds a week. She's 36 pounds. She's what 28 are you, pounds last month. Are you creating? She's a Rottweiler. She's going to be 125 pounds before she stopped growing. So she, you know, so missing the Christy, meal. She gonna, by the she way, gonna be not huge dog. 150. Playing yeah, the <laughs> feeding her like that. Yeah, that's so crazy. I just, I just felt like because my sitter is maybe 0.5 miles from where the movie theater is. This is I was like, you know, I can just go talk. ahead, drop this her off. This is the most, this no. is the most unblack <laughs> parent. <laughs> no, shit I'm not that guy. Caucasian you. right now with I your dog loving. Mighty you. white of you, Jill. This is mighty a white. black owned sitter. <laughs> it's you? called Puppy Love. And Listen, black woman owns it, and she's got this amazing setup. You no, we're talking about, about you. I know. We're talking we're about, talking you, about you. you. We're okay. talking about you, not the so, dog. Center. So what we gonna do? What we gonna do when this the edit comes Ooh. out? Because this is live for mm -hmm. us. When the edit comes out, Bob community, we are gonna put some pictures of my dog Nala up, and you can see oh, this dog God. is the most gorgeous dog that has ever been. For born. sure. And, and I and I'm bringing it's some like Sebastian because you we're not like gonna sit here. We need some Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Close-ups. Close-ups. Zoom this in on the close-ups close of Sebastian right now. This is the closest <laughs> I as a man the, come the to having a daughter that is a 10 and everybody want to come a up daughter. and talk to her and, and, Listen, and pet can, her and call her I, perfect I, and play with I her. I really cannot like, right now. Hilton and I'm just is gonna, like, so this is gone. Like, Sunken place. This is like sunken place. What am I going to do? Chrissy, please, please, please break him down. <laughs> I mean, first you of had, all, Chrissy had a dog that was like as big as a horse. Like I mean, one I had three of them. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you now, like that is the craziest thing that I think I hear people when they say, "Oh, the sitter," and I'm like, well, "When did you have a kid?" <laughs> and of course, they're talking about their pets. Now, I love my pet. My my look, my dog, my kids' dogs, which are my grandbabies, my grand puppies. They call me Mimi. That's I'm their Mimi. Uh, because my children don't have children, they have their dogs. So I'm in yeah. it. I'm here. I'm Black People Pets, like dot com. That's me. Yeah. Uh, I my 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 kids. They got wardrobes. We got toothbrushes. Oh yeah, Sebastian got a whole wardrobe. His yeah, his winter where he got shoes. He got to put on to go outside. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. who is never finna not get? Who's not getting a babysitter for my dog? Like I'm going to a movie. That baby gonna be in the kennel. And you're gonna eat when I get back. You're gonna be okay. I I think <laughs> I think it's beautiful, yes. but I just want you to <laughs> yes. you're like you're like the first parent, honestly. When you get like another one or you get a or this one, 
they'll really start getting on your last nerve because they will get on your last nerve too, just like a, a, a human child. How you but, gonna go on a date, Hilton? Like, I mean, you may have. I a mean, date. how you gonna have a life? How about I have to get yeah. home and feed my dog? My this is my life. What are y'all talking about? Y'all, y'all oh, overestimate. Like, y'all overestimate oh. my social life. <laughs> the only place I'm popular Hilton is when canceled. I go to cons. Everybody, and all he's the canceled boxes. all the cons. He's Everywhere else I go, I'm anonymous to take care <laughs> of nobody knows his baby. Nobody yes. know who I am. Yeah, you outside of, first of all, see, look, look, first of all, pop family, which y'all don't know, which y'all don't know. know is they only Let's we only see him. each other at cons. So at cons, we all got our level canceled. But we never like we never like at like some casual place like at somebody house type stuff we all kind of we are in that that con space and that's yes. just where my social social life is just yeah. so mm -hmm. happens to be i woke up one day and that's how it was well listen i applaud you though yes i applaud, we applaud you because you. you love that baby and i think yeah, that's beautiful and we need he more said, of that he tries to distract us too with nala mm -hmm. she, he's using her as a weapon and it's it he definitely won't do a crush. his homework and he'll be like putting nala pictures in there and be yeah. like Look at her. But it it works. But my that's dog that's the it. that's the headline. I don't. I don't look like he's distracting you, Chrissy. Yeah, it works. He's distracting you. I didn't it work on me. I got, I got caught up. I will. I will <laughs> just. Got caught up. I did not. I did. I'm not I a dog say, owner, so I, I will see say, just like with Jonathan Majors, the true test of my character as a dog owner is <laughs> when I get an ugly dog. When I get an okay, ugly dog, that they won't be cannot be used to to get me out of. My my deficits Ooh, is part of the box. Somebody getting him at the box. <laughs> you know, wow, that's when guys. people will see. Dana, get, get your Hilton belt, off Dana. of the screen. Get your belt, when I, Dana. When I get my ugly dog. Hilton, you're I can't. Oh, excuse I me, HR. HR you. just called me. They said you're on probation for lies, Hilton. Oh, <laughs> you guys, she took you off the screen. She that's a great. She is the, Dana, she is the great. That's a warning shot. That's a warning shot. <laughs> That's a warning. Warning. That's a warning shot. <laughs> Dana nah. said, "Don't play me. Don't play me, Hilton." Powers <laughs> back there. So I gotta get. I gotta Dana get Nala no on the box. Either, I gotta get so Nala on the box it. next next time. So y'all yeah. see the power yes. this dog has over the human soul. Oh my goodness. Oh, so back to the homework. What's, well, yeah, what did we do? What was we talking? We about? saw <laughs> Ghostbusters, <laughs> Frozen <laughs> Empire, and. I have to tell you, like, okay, so this is the thing. That first one that came out la like two, three years ago, mm -hmm. I loved it. I was just like, it, it, it was like a surprise because we had seen the one with the women. I actually liked the one with the women, mm -hmm. but this, that last one was so good. The storyline was fitting. It was sentimental. The family was related to Spangler. It was just this the whole thing. Sequel. Yeah, yes, it was totally a, a, a good sequel and it brought in the uh, other actors. Mm. It was just everything it needed to be. And then we got Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. <laughs> <sighs> I don't yeah. know if you guys liked it. I thought it was okay. I loved it. I thought it was okay. And um, I will tell you why. Because it took so long for it to get to what like the danger like it was just like leading up leading up leading up leading up and then finally when it happened that's like the last 15 20 minutes of the movie and uh -huh. i was like they should have been fighting that frozen man crazy thing like i was just i don't know i mean i enjoyed it it was enjoyable I, if it i mean i had like like i told you guys we were at indiana comic-con and we had some friends that worked at the theater and so we they were like we got a whole private screening for you guys and i invited everybody i could invite to come see it so we literally were in there by ourselves um and i just walked out going like Damn, i don't know Dana. i felt i felt like the jokes were forced at times i felt like the sentimental things were i mean there were some things i liked i mean you know and i don't i don't know I don't know. <laughs> I, okay, I, I'm Give gonna say it. I'm gonna say this on Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. I'm gonna say this. I agree with everything that you just said. That it Hello? definitely had some structural problems. It had some pacing problems, uh, but I didn't. That didn't hurt the movie for me. I yes, everything you said. I do believe that the big bad was overblown, and and the, the crescendo of the fight was totally out of context because everybody in the movie was fighting different battles and having these different plot you know devices to navigate 
out, where this this person wasn't Vigo. This wasn't Zool. You know, Zool was a problem from the first frame of the first Ghostbusters, right? And all the way to the end, the big bad was the big bad, and everybody was playing in the background of that to the crescendo, and it made it made sense. This one was was more of a I don't even know what the word is. Where each care it was like a it was like a character drama, like you got to see where everyone mm -hmm. is and what they're doing, and you got to enjoy them in you know the girl being too young and not being able to to you know participate as a Ghostbuster, uh, you know uh, you know. The, the the key of not having this MacGuffin until halfway through the movie with this this orb and they didn't do anything with that until the last part and there was just a lot of moving parts however they were good moving parts they were good moving parts that and part. I really enjoyed just everybody's screen time and I have got mm -hmm. to say yes the the nostalgia was definitely low underhanded pitches across the mound. They were really, really, what do you call it, uh, overly on the nose, mm -hmm. but it worked. It like worked. I, even, even yeah. like the stuff like, okay, that, okay, that's a, a callback to the first one, and oh, here's he's getting ready to say the quote. He's gonna say the quote, but it still hit me right in the feels, right? You know, it right. was cheap. It was cheap thrills. It was cheap, you know, jokes sometimes, and you know, sometimes they went a little out of their way to, to you know. To tell the cheap joke or to, to hit the nostalgia moment, but it hit me because I, I I lived through those movies. I was 12 years old again, sitting in the theater watching Ecto One speeding through the city, getting hyped for no reason at all. You right. know, I'm watching right. the, the the proton packs going off when they turn them on and they go, or just I get ah, you know that's mm -hmm. that all that they just they made that movie for me because they knew. I would not be able to apply critical thought to these biochemical reactions to the, to the, we know you're a fan. Here's some fan stuff, you know? Yeah. 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 Bill Murray's coming back for no damn reason. Look at that. All right. They, no, not they, at all. No reason at all. <laughs> you know, he's going to put that same helmet on that he had from the first movie and he's going to tell these jokes. It, it, so I was yeah. able to enjoy it. I give it a solid seven and a half out of 10. But it really did hit me in the feels. I think that the franchise has legs. I think there will be another uh, movie based off of the success of this one. I think they got a winning formula. I do hope that the next movie, if they decide to do it, is trimmed down a little bit. And I think maybe every big bad doesn't have to be like the embodiment of Satan or a galactic level destroyer i mean you know you can just have a really 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 haunted house and and be like i would love to see because the mundane is where all these characters yeah thrive. Like, like going from upstairs yeah. to downstairs watching three levels of drama happening between the kids and the marriage and the and you know even even mayor peck trying to shut <laughs> him down just like the first movie like i was fine watching that uh i don't like i said i don't to your point i don't even think they needed the big bat like if he had never shown up and there was never this ice demon who it with took this so weird Mesopotamian story. Like, come on. Yeah. Christy Renee. Can I can yes, I just jump share? in? Jump in. So I agree with mostly everything being said, but I have to tell you, while I I got so first of all, I'm very happy with it because a lot of it is wrapped up in the nostalgia and the fact that I'm just a diehard Ghostbusters <clears throat> fan from from the original. And remembering that time in life and just, you know, seeing the getting the glimpses of everything we got in this current film and how they're keeping that they're being consistent with that, which they gonna have to do if you if you don't do that, you're messing up just like in the girl all girls film, I think where it fell flat was because it didn't include enough of the of the the uh, the original right. you know storyline right <laughs> they just went with the you know just the very skeleton of it and didn't build on that and i think as they realized that they started adding that to the next couple of films and we got that with this one as well and even though bill murray doesn't show up for any reason he does come for the factor of we're gonna all go crazy when they open that door and he's standing <laughs> there and he's like with his liquor ready to get saucy or going to find it, whatever. <laughs> but I will tell you this, I enjoyed everything. 
with again the three levels of drama and all the characters and their arcs and watching them develop on screen and these relationships and Paul Rudd can do no wrong ever in this life. Ooh, McKenna right. Grace. He McKenna said Grace what, is, what movie was there? Yeah, he, well, yeah, McKenna oh, and, and Paul. No, McKenna really. Grace come on, let's keep fantastic. it real, guys. Let's let's get remove the nostalgia. Uh, let me finish. Just, hey, I'm a, let me. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm, no, no, no. I'm calling a tick. I'm calling a tick right now on on the star right here. Listen, listen. I thought McKenna Grace, and she's one of my favorites because she's also from she's from The Handmaid's Tale. And when I tell y'all, it is incredible. Anyway, she is great. So I love seeing her face with the new look and just I thought her storyline was really good. Yeah. Building all the way up to all of that, I got even more excited when the when the when the bad bad the big bad came on, because when that mofo picked up them horns and shoved them in the sides of it, it turned into my spooky shit, and I was so excited. I was like, now I'm terrified, and this is what I want to do because Ghostbusters was intended to be this scary thing, right? That was it was it's part yes. of Halloween. It's when we get into the 31 days of Halloween, Ghostbusters. It's at the top of the list. Yes. of things to watch or things to listen to, you know, the music or whatever. And we dress up as Ghostbusters for Halloween. I know I did. I built some mean uh, proton packs uh, uh, a few years ago. <laughs> so I lived for that. I thought, I, I feel like I, I, and the thing was scary. I wanted to make sure it was like super scary. So I thought that is really good. So that kind of takes it to a new level. And think about it. You've got to have one of those entities um, Ghostbusters reminds me of Scooby Doo. So when you have the Scooby Doo, you have to have those. You have to have the big bad. You got to have something that's creepy, otherworldly. Because we had a giant marshmallow man in the first one. Like it was a marshmallow man, <laughs> Mr. <Stamp laughs> yeah, but that was like the what was it the the weird lady that that like they were all like that was her controlling that right? I know, so. but it's fun. <laughs> I know we no we for had, sure people but they were still otherworldly and they brought these other so, entities to life <laughs> I, have but a I thought question. it was great so it wasn't so convenient for y'all like you know podcast just so happened to come to new york and hang out at the store and it wasn't convenient that the girl they brought her to new york because she was studying at the lab like it just was all too convenient like i just felt like that first one was so good and the story was so streamlined and this one to me was good but it was like it was like it's good but now we got to add all this extra stuff and we got to put this on it and put this on we got to figure out a way to get the kids here and, and i was just like it could have been like spring break and they just came down to visit like you know or i mean it could have been told in an easier way i don't know i just yeah i mean i'm I mean, I, like i said it was a seven for me but i was hoping like i went in there i think my hopes were way too high like I went in there going, I want, I want to feel what I, I felt really unexpectedly <laughs> for that other movie for the first. You one. keep doing that, and it I never know, goes in your favor. So we're trying years, to tell like, you, kids grew up like they like are all ten, ten feet taller, and I was like, okay, like the only kid that didn't look like he grew up is the kid that uh, like always grows up in Stranger Things, but like Finn looked normal, <laughs> like Finn looked the same. The other kids like aged, and I was like, how did he not grow? Because he's always growing in Stranger Things. But you know what I'm saying? Like they'd had time to develop and like make this script everything. I don't know. No, I, I think I, I think I think <laughs> what 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 happens with a viewing like this is yes. that if the mu if the movie falls short of what your expectations are, the things in the movie that fall short take you out of the movie, and yeah. then you have time as you're outside of the movie in your head to think about. Oh, there's there had to be a better way to bring everyone together. So yeah. And oh, well, that was a little too on the nose or, you know, whereas and, and, and I don't know what the formula is with me that made me biochemically connect with what was happening on screen. But it was <laughs> it was just I was suspended enough away from it to for its flaws not to take me out of the movie. Thanks. I've seen enough well, good movies. Well, I gave it a seven. <laughs> well, no, no. That, yeah, and I'm a seven and a half. So I think we're arriving at the same place. But I think. <laughs> My seven is a buildup of positive, whereas your seven is like a minus from a 10. You're, right. you <laughs> totally. to get to your right. 10. Totally. Like, like you subtracted to get to your 10. I added to get to my seven, right? So it's like it's very interesting. And that's and that's the and that's unfortunate <laughs> because, like I said, the a movie like this, and only a movie from this franchise, 
should have the license to be as cheesy and as For on sure. the nose yeah. as yeah. they are. I if they did this with Star Wars, I'd be furious. If they did this with Star Trek, I'd be furious. <laughs> right. Like, right. okay, you know, and they did. Those are two different genres, genres yeah. too. Yeah. Well, they're two oh, different genres, different. but you know, I think we the world building is more of a serious thing with the Star Wars Star Trek than right. Ghostbusters. We take for granted that Ecto-1 is a car that's 80 years old and should not be doing donuts anywhere. It's a hearse. It's, it's a hearse. A hearse right? <laughs> but, but we Both suspend cars. ourselves to think, okay, th this guy is speeding through New York traffic. <laughs> Where is it? We know real. in reality, yeah. if he had come out, of, as soon as you come out, you'd be stuck in traffic. Like you just be like, he, he would go. Yeah. So we <laughs> right, right. And so, and then it's like, okay, you got two different, you got a ground drone, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, capture thing. Right. You know, whatever. To catch and then the you got a, then go. you got a flying drone and, you know, but I got to tell you the scene that got me and it's probably why I stayed in the movie the whole time. Mm -hmm. That side seat. With the little girl in it, well, always yeah. gets me. <laughs> that just, just, just. The I want to be. That, I want to try that once. <laughs> oh, you know, but you know, you think really? about it like from a logical perspective. If they're so worried about her driving, being in New York, driving, flying around with this this seat that's sitting out here for her to get knocked in the next week, why y'all letting her sit in that chair to begin with? Why ain't one of the adults in it, right? Right. But you know, the they the movie She's makers know it. she has to be on the side of this car shooting up into the sky as this little girl being super determined, that scene has to happen. So they're like, forget it. We're just going to go ahead and run with it. And, and that's, I, I, all my, my nostalgia feels, all my emotional feels. Cause all I see is Egon when I'm looking at her. Yeah. That's all I see. They did a good job of really, really adding just, him in her. I'm yeah. just like, oh, and then, okay. So here's another thing. And I think this oh, might also be the, <laughs> the animated series. The animated series got more nostalgia and more homage in this movie than any other movie before it. Okay. It was so much that was happening on the screen here that only happened in the animated series that if you watch the cartoon, you're like, oh, look at the uniforms. Oh, yeah. he's not Egon, but he's got the Egon look because he's this extra scientist and he's got the <laughs> different uniform like Egon in the in the, the animated series did. And there people doing stuff that they only did in the animated series, which means like, oh, if this works, they might start drawing on that to build out the world and create, you know, create new sequels. So I'm kind of like, yeah, low key excited for that. But then I'm sitting in a theater, mm -hmm. so I'm, like, I'm the only person to watch it. Well, it's definitely gonna get another one. I mean, it was, it was a <laughs> hit. Yeah. You know, it, it's definitely like I think it hit it, hit it out of the park, and people were into it. And and we needed a movie like that. We needed a, yeah. we needed a ghost true pop out because true yeah, because it's one of those things true where good. like real life right now is like is not like it's crazy stuffs going on. So we need something that's very mm -hmm. happy, very family friendly i don't know i guess because like that first movie it just made like it was really like the the two storylines that were going on were the mom and the daughter like the mom feeling like she had been abandoned you know and they go to just clean out the house and you know but then realizing you know the daughter realizing no you weren't abandoned he was doing something greater and bigger and he was you know saving us and then it all culminated to where the daughter helped her mother understand her father. And it just, and even the daughter, like she never really realized why she was so weird and why she didn't fit in and why she couldn't tell a joke, mm. you know, and she, but she was his granddaughter. Like she had gotten all of that smart and all that science and all that love of what he loved in her. So for this one, it was just like, I think like, I'd still believe like, you know, they were still trying to play on the daughter, trying to find herself and, you know, having the one thing that she finally loved, which was being a Ghostbuster, almost taken away. And, you know, and she's still trying to find herself as a teenager, as a young woman. But I just didn't feel like that through line was just as thick as the first one, you know, where it was like, you really were rooting for the girl. I, I don't know. I just, I just felt like the, the heart that was there in between all this fun stuff wasn't really you are about. you are 100 percent right and you yeah. are mourning the movie you I, didn't the see <laughs> as opposed to enjoying the movie I you know, did. I and know. i and, it, and it's and just like christy and i say everything you say is 100 percent right yeah. Yeah. they could have made the whole personal yeah. dynamic of the script be about her coming yeah. into her age because her brother's 18 and she's 15 the the mayor done told her she can't be a Ghostbuster. Yeah. I mean, there's your plot right there. Like you yeah. could have run that to the ground. Yeah. And 
the British have a term that I apply to stuff like this. It's called too cute by half. And this movie mm. was, it was feeling itself. And, and I think somebody in the, in the editing room was just like, yeah, let's, let's bring in four more actors than need to be <laughs> in this <Right>. room. <laughs> you we know, need some more names. <laughs> like yeah, the guy, the guy Peck, like I'm, I'm sitting there like, is he, I didn't even know he was alive still until he, he was, yeah, I was like, oh, that guy isn't dead. Like, right? How's he still running like, the city? How's he still the mayor? Like, where's that story? Him out, I want right. to hear. The last time we saw him, he He's got the buried ghost. in liquid, in liquid <laughs> uh, uh, marshmallow. Yeah, last time we saw him. Yeah, and then he made it to mayor, and I'm like, I would have liked to have seen that story, like some weird Donald Trumpy oh, arc. You know, Rick like they could have really run I want with Rick that. Rick Moranis back. <laughs> I thought he was going to be in it. I was like, I the was way they like, going. Like, God, he, he's got to be in it. He's got to be, be in the third one, or I'm boycotting. Yeah. He <laughs> well, has an incredible story too. Oh, but yeah, yeah, this was yeah. yeah. That would be great for them to bring him back. I want him back in there. Yeah. Well, one yeah. thing I will say that I have to give a shout out to, whether Please. I whether I love the movie or not, I got to shout out Mr. Ernie Hudson, who Woo! is 78 years old, Honey. looking like a whole snack. Like Can we he just talk about the he looking he, like yeah. 48. Like I was like. Ernie Ernie, like I see Ernie all the time at Dana, comps. do you want to log Wonderful. me out for this segment? I <laughs> no, really don't have a whole lot to You go stay. You go stay. Celebrate your you brethren. Cele yes, you go stay. Boy. And so, but this is the thing. I see him all the time. I have never known that he was 78 years old. Yeah. I thought Ernie was, I don't he know how old he was, him. but I didn't think he was 78. Like, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, is let's we need to look. I, yes, he is. I think he is. Okay. <laughs> I'm right. not sure. Yeah, I know he got kids because I've seen He's him. Got at children. And his, his son manages his appearances. He's there with him. Yeah. Them. So oh, I've, yeah. Met, I've met good. them. And, you know, well, yeah, you're right. He, nice. the, the brother's spry. I and need he, you to bring like him. He, he looked like he'd kick a couple, couple he brothers in the butt. Con. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I hey, put look, in my look. request. I'm yes. putting my like, you know, everybody was requesting, you know, Chadwick Boseman. Everybody was requesting, like, all like, I'm putting my request in. <laughs> no, but Ernie's actually really nice, really kind, very down to very earth. Down to earth. I, I mean, he hugs and shakes every hand to every fan. He's a wonderful, wonderful person. But and if you don't I know this, floored. I, I just want to say, if you guys, the fans out here in Bobland, don't know this, there is a huge fandom community for Ghostbusters. Oh, Almost yes. what you would mm -hmm. see with Star Wars and the 501st. Yes. I mean, there are Ghostbusters stationed in like, I think every, every state show. at least. Yes. But they've got, like they all have their version of the Ecto-1. And all the have Proton Packs that, are not to be played packs, with. Yeah. And, and they're serious too. Like you can't just walk Ooh. up and no. be touching stuff, they'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, yeah. I saw them in Puerto like Rico. They had cosplay, like, like super on the level, like the detail. You got to apply to join uh, a, a Ghostbusters <laughs> League. You can't just, oh just grab Lord. a garbage suit and, and just show up. They like, where your proton pack at, homie? Like, how? Right. What's the rotational it... ratio of your? <laughs> right? Is it A A plus plus graded? <laughs> Cosplay authentic. Submit it for your specs for. Yeah, <laughs> like no. it is on the level. Chrissy, I'm sure that proton packs you made your kids. They would, they would, you know, they would. You they know, would I made that when I was working in HR, honey, in corporate, and that was for grown people parties. <laughs> I was, we, we, me and my HR. Give her team, glue gun. I'm telling is, you. <laughs> yeah, it was the it was, and I want to say it must have been the year. It was 2016, so it must have been the year when the girls movie came out, uh, okay, or somewhere around there. But oh yeah, shoot now, yeah, it was uh, yeah. It, it well, y'all ain't got to listen to me because y'all know busting makes me feel good, even if I, you know, I still gave it a seven. <laughs> that was the best line in the movie. Busting makes me feel good. <laughs> that was Lord. so, again, I, yeah, it's the little things to me that make the big things. So, Hilton, yeah. I can understand how you did that math of showing, you know, you worked your way up to give it the 7.5. And then we go in, because I too will go in with that 10 and be like, then we'll just start deducting as we. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> right. which is probably where I probably arrive at my eight out of ten. So I'm I'm yes. gonna have that 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 higher score. But it it they can't if they stay true to the original brand and the fact that that has because none of those movies were ever bad. Right. So think about yeah, all of the movies. All they always 
So if they kept that over decades now, like that, they somebody got the formula. They might deter, they might detour a little bit and get off track. But overall, you getting praise from me. I enjoyed it. I sat in them seats until got the post credit uh, moment and just sat there because I was like, I'm such a Marvel fan. That's how you know a Marvel fan when they <laughs> still sit. In any movie, it don't yeah. matter. What it, it ain't is, even a Marvel. Movie. This is a World War II drama. I'm waiting to see if they got another. I'm still waiting to see. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just but I watched, to us. Why did I watch Infinity War and Endgame yesterday? I don't oh know why, God. but I did. I know why. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> but but no, I was and, like, and watch it like else. I ain't never seen it. <laughs> yeah, every time. Every you know, time. for anybody out here watching who's wondering, it 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 was family friendly. Yes. And, you know, it's scary because I think the trailer actually was a little scarier than the movie. It was. You know, spikes going up. They didn't show nobody getting impaled. Ooh. But you're thinking to yourself, like, oh, there's going to be a dead body in here somewhere. If, the, if if ice spikes are just going through the city of New York, you know, somebody is going to be. They didn't show any of that kind of stuff. Somehow the demon, you know, managed to throw ice spikes all through Manhattan and didn't kill nobody. So, you know, we're. <laughs> You can bring kids to it, and there's no jump scares like you would see in a horror movie. Yeah. Uh, but it, it it was funny, uh, it was sincere, it was some really really good acting. Uh, but just like just like uh, Karen was saying, it's it, it was a little more over the top with the nostalgia stuff. There was a lot of people who just were probably wandering around the lot and got put in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray's doing a cooking show at the next studio over. No, stop. Quick, get the script writers to give him six lines and get him. Yes. <laughs> and oh. came in and delivered. He gave came it to him. He served. It, he it served. was in oh. character. And I mean, he no, he really, I re, now I'm thinking, of, he had like eight lines. I was like, he didn't. Yeah, it wasn't much. He didn't have to do much. Not yeah. much, but he was there. He so that was, yeah. it was enjoyable. They, they planted, I mean, uh, what did you guys think of Kamal? Like he was the, the fire. Oh, I love him. <laughs> uh, he's just a good I mean he's a good he's a good actor to me I enjoy he's a good he's, comedian comedic he actor a, he has a funny yes he has, he brings that funny again another like storyline I really like him as an actor right love him he can deliver he can read the phone book he, and make me yeah, laugh right very much so. but it was like they didn't see it enough to where we were like rooting for this guy like I like I wanted to be rooting for him to become be his a villain full potential. at some point <laughs> the next film, he's gonna be a villain. He's you like think? gotta be. I think so. Well, I don't think he's gonna fully become this hero that they thought would be. I, and guess yeah. what? And I'm gonna show up for it and be like, <laughs> it's great. I, I, <laughs> he can he do no wrong. They didn't give him any kind of arc. They didn't give him any kind of background. He just he's just like Bill Murray shows up. You know, he's kind of yeah. like they 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 throw this backstory at him. He's totally grandma, unnecessary. For yeah. Sure. But I mean, I was glad he was there. Um, you know, he was good to watch. He's all as always. Uh, yeah. I love I love everything he does, even his drama. I loved him in Eternals. I love all the stuff he does. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's like I was kind of like, does he need to be here? Like this this whole <laughs> Fire Lord thing kind of it's kind of like you know Avatar-y, Last Airbender-y thing going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, like he's, a, he's from the Fire Nation now. Is oh, that what's happening? Strange. Is that what's going on? He keeps right. doing this. Right. Right. We're going to open a portal. Right. You know, you're right. And you're right. I feel like the, the mm -hmm. desperation showed itself in that role because they honestly could have made the Ghostbusters have to use fire and just say it's kind of like they're doing the opposite work of what a fire station is supposed to do that lives. And, you know, they could have done it right. and left out a whole new character with a whole new backstory and you know, but well, she upgraded the proton pack yeah. using the brass as a <clears throat> spiritual medium, which they had never done because they were always using copper, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, see, could, there's it, your, right. there's your, your side road right there. Like, you know, she comes in with the upgraded proton pack and actually lands some blows. Like, okay, boom, we didn't need the firebender. You know, Fire Lord yeah. Ozai don't need to be in this <laughs> yeah. in the movie. He because did. She's got he did. <laughs> I just like, well, you know. True. And the other beef I had is like they got Finn, they got Finn Wolf, Wolf. Yeah. They got him in this movie, right? He is like one of the big. I can't even say his last name. Wolf, 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 Wolfhard, Wolf, Wolf. Wolford, yes. Finn Wolford. <laughs> they got him in this movie. He's one of the biggest stars right now with Stranger yeah. Things, and he's like barely there. Like he's, he's fighting there. the little green guy. Like I'm like, come on. 
But I'm yeah. gonna let it go. It's they still missed seven. the mark on those. His two entire things, arc yeah. was getting to drive Ecto one. Getting to drive, like he that, finally, but he got to and, drive and, it the and, first time. Exactly. The first so time. even that wasn't even like the like he start, He was driving the it hell out of it. Drove in the country. That they he gave was him like, his keys back, and that I just, was like. I drive in privilege. I just back. got the message hot off the press. They was desperate. The strike had happened. They didn't know. I they need just them said, to use this kid. This kid is like the one of the leading, like the best things that's happened to Stranger Things. And yeah. he should have been right there with his sister, helping her understand who she was, being her friend, something, anything. Like he could have been like figuring out that she's talking to a ghost and she's like playing it like on the edge. Like there could have been a couple people that weren't in the movie that he could have did what they did and it had been better. I just yeah, thought of something. I think so. I, just I agree. Of something. I really yeah. truly believe. I didn't mean to bring y'all down, but I mean, viewing, I just had to keep it real. I'm sorry, guys. Was I'm sorry. the director's cut that we didn't ask for. <laughs> that we didn't ask. If, if this, this is my director's if, if they, cut. If the That's editor cool. had come in and chopped about 20 minutes of movie, yes. out, meaning some yes. of those characters that didn't yes. need it and all yeah. that. And then the DVD dropped, and then we got this movie. The mm -hmm. bonus material, you obviously forgive bonus stuff because mm -hmm, it wasn't right. in the movie, whatever, whatever. We've seen it with Lord of the Rings. You see it with all the other movies. Mm -hmm. Wakanda Forever. We saw Wanda it with every single like, movie. Yeah, yeah the little brainy everything. thing still got the little counter everything. going on the bottom. We don't care, right? I was like, the, we watched the movie where they just left everything in. Yeah. And if they had not left everything in, and they would have, it would have been a shorter movie, but it would have been less for the Karen Ashleys of the world to subtract. <laughs> but they Sorry. still, even if they took some of the stuff out, the Christie's and Hilton's would have still built up to where we are. Yeah. I like, you know, so yeah, maybe maybe the today, editor, but... the editor should have been a little more choppy. Yeah, yeah like, a little you know, bit. Not all, when you, all it's much off it's like a lot of movies, honestly, that's why editors get paid so much. But it's like, if you take out 10 to 15 minutes of unnecessary things, uh, like where you're just like, at, like it's like you take forever to get to the plot. It would have moved faster. It would have been like we would have been where we needed to be. But I yeah. felt like we should have met that man. We should have met him like an hour in, and that last hour they should have been fighting for the death, and everybody should have been you're life should have been. Yeah, demon, and life yeah. should have been, everybody's life should have been in peril. Like, they might have yeah. been able to lose one of those kids, but then use that machine to get that kid's life back. Something. I mean, it could have been, yeah. like, where they would have been, like, oh, my gosh. And then she's, like, walking with the guilt of, I just killed my friend or whatever, you know? Mm. But they're able to reverse it because they had this technology and whatever, you know? He stayed in that ball till the last till 10 the, minutes of the movie. Yes. I was like, Is he ever going to get up out this ball? I was, like, literally, I was, like. Like, when is it gonna start? No, <laughs> like I was thinking, things. I was thinking of Pinhead from uh, Hellraiser. I'm like, hey, yeah. Pinhead, if you just touch touch the Tesseract, <laughs> right. Pinhead gonna pop out and that's your ass. That's like, it. That's it. it. So they touching it, dropping it. They put every time they they did something well, like, oh, he gotta come out now. He didn't come out. Oh, they're gonna touch it. And that's you all know what? Oh, they didn't have. Like, the crazier part, as I said before, he was worth being seen for a whole hour. Like, it, we should have gotten yes. a lot more of him yeah. because I thought that they designed him very well. So that was a... I, I the montage loved. you're talking about, Christy, where they were telling the backstory of who he was right. would have worked so much better as a live action throwback you mm -hmm. know, where they're like, okay, that like a real montage mm -hmm. as opposed to like showing it in these little drawings. Like, it, cause yeah. it was like, that sounds well, like an amazing story that if they had put some yeah. stress on that, I would have right. loved to have seen this guy like destroy a whole Mesopotamian <laughs> empire and take over South Asia. Like, I, I, give me 10 I like minutes of they, that. Yeah. I like when they do that in good movies though, but that means we've already seen and gotten a feel, a real huge, you know, uh, significant feel for that character that they're going to then flashback. Cause I've, I've loved when I've seen that in, in several movies. I can't, no, nothing comes to mind right now for some. Oh, no, oh no, and Harry, no, Harry right. Potter. No, no. Yeah. Well, like when they throw back and they do that animated. So I love that, but it didn't work for this. Cause right. just like we're saying, we didn't even get introduced. We didn't get to see him long enough to even go, well, wait, what's his story? And then see it in this animated, you know, whatever reenactment style, uh, Feel so it didn't. It didn't pull Lord it together. The Rings, how they went back to <laughs> that, the battle where where yes. uh, Sauron gets, shows up on the field. Like we don't get to really meet him. We don't see him in his face. Right. But you get to see the scale and and the imposition yeah. so that mm -hmm. that like oh the oh shit 
you know, moment that mm -hmm. characterizes that name carries over three movies until you do see him. Well, and then you're like, okay. Like, well, what about this? Video. Like, imagine, like, the grandma would have been still been alive, like, but old, like real old, right? And then the the the, the crazy, um, you know, grandson goes and sells that artifact. And then she's like, you better get it back. You don't understand what you did. It and like, you know, like where she's like, I met him, you know, <laughs> and it would have been one of those things like why she mm -hmm. was the like, they didn't give us any of that. So that's why I think I didn't care about the villain. I wasn't like, I don't know. It just, uh, I don't know. I wanted it to be so much better, but it's still entertaining. He got, it, look, yeah. he got his three points deducted. Seventy a seven yeah. is out of ten is still a passing yes. grade. Yes, yes. You it still graduate like, with. It wasn't like Lord, it wasn't yeah. Love and Thunder, where I was like, "What the heck is that?" Like I was mad at that. I'm still mad at that movie. I literally <laughs> was gonna watch it again because I was like, maybe I was too harsh. No, like, it's I mean, the same movie. Yeah, and I was like, Ugh. just like just yeah. like Black Adam was the same movie. Yeah, every time or like it's the, known. Like I just saw and there no was desire. a new Aquaman, and I didn't even know there was a new Aquaman, and it was awful. <laughs> yeah, I'm like how, like guys, I literally missed all of it. I didn't even know. I was just <laughs> on HBO Max with nothing to do, and was like, yep. "There's, I was like, there's a new Aquaman." Remember, <laughs> I like, I got in the chat. We have like a group chat, and I was like, "What is this?" And Hilton was like, "The death of DC." <laughs> I was like, oh, "Yeah, again, basically." <laughs> <laughs> oh well, now we know why James Gunn got his got the job because they were like, "This is all we got." But this is where I, it made me mad though, because I'm like, "This movie saw the light of day, and we still didn't ever get to see this super whether it's the Superwoman or whatever spy. I forget what it was. What's the one that didn't come out? And we were like so mad. Like DC shot the whole film and then just canned mm -hmm. it, and oh, we're like, that one. "Supergirl or yes. Catwoman or Catwoman." That woman, that That's woman what was, 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 yeah, it was yeah, or Batgirl. Sorry, well, yeah. that girl. Yes, it didn't even get to see the light of day, and I said, "And this saw the light of day like this." This. Ah. So, anywho, yeah. well, guys, that's the end of our show. It can't be. We just it got is. here. It is. I know. It goes so fast. It's so much fun when you're having fun. But, guys, we love you. <laughs> we mean it. It's the Bop, the Blurred Official Podcast. Tune in every Tuesday. We can't wait to see you. We love you. We that mean it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>